Welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy VIII. <clears throat> and today, we're going to take on the final boss of the game, Ultimecia, and defeat her once and for all. Um, since last time, I removed Squall and Zell's junctions to the strength. Although for Zell, basically, I just gave him one blind, because that basically leaves him with base strength. The reason why I did that was because the last boss of this game um, it's not that difficult, so yeah, so I want to make it a bit harder for myself to defeat her. Now the music for this episode um, might be a bit soft, because it's almost way past midnight where I am right now. Which is a shame really, because I love the final boss music. So that's her. Apparently she replaced every um, letter C with a K. I think I've seen that before but can't really remember. Um, so what's annoying about this boss fight is not only does Ultimecia have a ton of forms that you have to fight through, but also um, she will pick three random party members to start the battle off with. As you can see you got Renoa, Zell, and Christus, and out of them all, only um, Zell is useful. Uh, let's start off by casting Meltdown on Ultimecia, cause why not? Yeah, since I don't want Renoa or Christus to be in my party, what I want to do is kill them off. And basically, if you leave your characters to be dead for a while, um, Ultimecia will take them away and replace them with other characters in your party. Oh, why did I have Zell attack himself? That might kill, yup, that killed Christus and, um, Zell's gonna attack himself again because, well, the attack was transferred over to himself. Okay, why not? We really have nothing better to do until, um, get some other characters in my party. Come on. Okay, so now she's going to take away one of our characters, Christus. Now let's hope we get either Squall or Urban. Well, it's killed off Selfie. Oh yeah, and she can also cast Maelstrom. Obviously that's quite annoying because can't use any limit breaks when you're under the curse status. Bye, selfie. Okay, so she's gonna take away Renoa now. I'm gonna get either Squall or Christus, I mean, or Urban into our party. I hope we get Squall because then we can finish her off quickly. Nope, we get Urban. Oh well. Oh, stop doing that. It's never gonna kill us anyways. Oh, is Urban immune to curse or something? Cause he wasn't inflict inflicted with it. 
Either way, let's just wait for ultimate tier 3. Yep. Now Skull's gonna be in our party, so let's start casting. But first, let me just heal myself back to full HP. Okay, so as I was saying earlier, let's get Aura on Squall and Zell. Now against Altimisia, um, Squall will almost always use Lionheart on her. Yeah, he can't really do that much damage because I didn't junction anything to his strength. But either way, this battle probably still won't be too difficult. No, I want Squall to kill him. Mm, her. Stop, not really that harmful. It's just an annoyance. I think Remedy can cure it. Duel, the problem with Duel is it takes too long and we don't need it for this first form of... Oh, so Remedy doesn't cure or um, stop. Let's try Nasuna. Yeah, but Ultimisia's first one only has like 40,000 HP, so Duel is not only overkill, but a waste of time. This is kinda taking long. Come on. Not the limb break I wanted. Usually like at least 50% percent of the time I get Lionheart from Squall, so I guess I'm just unlucky here. Does this kill her? Yep, now she's gonna go into her second form, and she's actually gonna summon a GF to help her. Guess who this GF is? Screever, the ring that Squall wears. Or the carving of the line on that ring. You know, we didn't actually need to use Remedy on Zell, could have just used Auron on him. Now Griever has okay grab just pretty annoying but Griever has over a hundred thousand HP so this might take a while. Oh well he's not well he's obviously not nearly as nearly as bad as um Omega weapon. Faded circle not too bad. Could have been better. Ravager again. Well, in terms of Griever's attacks, um, he can cast some pretty annoying status spells on you like Pain and um, Doom. He can also even draw magic out of you and then cast it on you right afterwards. It's quite, quite annoying. It can get quite annoying if, um, okay, good, Lionheart. If Griever draws something like Triple and you cast it on himself, because then he can just spam spells on you over and over again. 
And Griever does have some pretty powerful offensive spells like Quake. Another thing to watch out for is sometimes the background of um, this battlefield will start moving really fast for some reason. When this happens, it means Reaver is powering up for his most powerful attack. It's called Shockwave Pulsar. It can do well over 6,000 damage to everyone in your party, even with um, good junctions to your spirit stat. So I definitely watch out for that. 